Hello everyone, this is ScribbleFix and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing some fan art to celebrate Doctor Who Day. One of my favourite TV series, Doctor Who, is coming back today and I'm so excited because I've been waiting like a year and a half for this season so yeah, don't judge me. So I decided to draw the new companion Bill and the Doctor in the TARDIS with like some cool galaxy type patterns and stars around them. I like doing art like this because I've been trying to practice uh, specific people. I'm not one to do realism but I still want to be able to catch people's likenesses so I'm trying hard with that. I know it's not perfect but I'm doing my best. I started off with a sketch using my blue pencil and then I refined it a bit with lead pencil. After that I used my light box to ink it over onto another piece of paper. And then I started doing the background. I prefer to do the background first because sometimes when you colour and shade in the characters you think it looks good but then after you do the background you realise the characters need more shading in specific areas or certain bits need to be darker so to avoid that I like to colour the background fully most of the time. I just find it easier that way. This artwork is similar to another piece I did not too long ago called Copic Galaxy Art. I'll put a link on the screen uh, if I don't forget. In, in case you want to see that one, I used a similar techniques here. First I put in the basic shapes of the galaxy and nebula with my lightest colours and then I went in with marker around the outside blending it darker and darker making sure to go back over the lightest bits just to make sure it blends smoothly. It's a longish process and first it starts looking pretty bad but once you blend it and layer it heaps it starts to look pretty cool. I used a lot of cool grey tones and then laid colours over them just to make sure I got the values that I wanted. Oh, and you guys know how I've been talking a lot about not having specific colours and my markers drying all the time. Well, I ordered a bunch of new colours and some inks. Yay! I shall be showing them off in an art haul video, which will be sometime soonish. I've recorded like half of it already, but, but I have to wait for more stuff to arrive in the post. So yeah, look forward to that. I spent like $200 uh, Australian, so you know I got some goodies. Anyways, after I added all the colours and tones I wanted and then blended them out, I coloured in uh, a lot of the darker spaces to make sure that there was a bit of contrast. And once that was done, I started colouring in the characters. For Bill's skin tone, I used E33 and E25. And then for her hair, I used E29 and black. And for her shirt, I believe I used a C8. For the doctor's skin tone, I used E51 and E53. And also a little bit of colourless blender to add some highlights. And then for the TARDIS, I used B28, royal blue. I think that colour was very fitting. I also actually forgot to draw in the light on top of the TARDIS and I had already coloured that part black. 
So what I did was I grabbed the colourless blender and I went over it a lot of times to push the ink to the back of the page. And at one time I even put tissue under the page just to absorb some of the ink through. And I did that a few times until it was light enough to draw in the light. And then I used some gel pen and gouache to draw the shiny part and yeah it worked pretty well. The blender is a pretty good tool to fix mistakes. And at the end I used some gouache to draw in the stars. I drew in a lot of stars. I made some larger than others and some were more shiny looking. I just wanted to make sure they were organic and not too patterny. I also used a bit of watercolour just to add a tiny bit of colour into some of the stars. So some had little bits of red tints in them and a few were yellow looking if you look carefully anyways. So I just wanted to say thanks uh, one more time to everyone just for helping me get to 400 subscribers. I really appreciate it. I'm very grateful for the kind feedback that I got from the vlog. I wasn't sure if people would enjoy it and I was a bit nervous putting it up, but it got a really good response and I'm really happy for that. So if there's anything arty type events in the future, I'll consider vlogging them as well. It really means a lot to me that you guys have been enjoying my content lately. Um, don't forget to comment on my video and or tweet me. I really love uh, hearing your stories and your feedback, so yeah. I really love this artwork and I had a lot of fun making it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please hit subscribe and check out my other videos. I really appreciate the support. I'm also just going to remind everyone again that at 500 subs I'm going to be doing an art slash art supply giveaway so let's make that happen and hit that sub button and share it with your friends so on that note I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you all in my next video bye